Hey, my name is Lorraine and I'm part of the Scrapbook Expo team. And I'm here to share today's tip of the day. Do you love chalkboard paint? I personally love the look of chalkboard paint, but um, I, I actually had a project in mind and the project was rather large. I was going to uh, do a vanity in my bathroom. Well, I ended up spending quite a large amount on chalkboard paint and it was about twenty dollars for a pint and i thought there's got to be a better way so there we go i'm going to teach you how to make your own chalkboard paint so you don't have to go out and spend twenty dollars on a small pint uh, for your projects it's really really easy and you're going to be surprised it's three simple ingredients um, your first ingredient you're going to take a little trip to the hardware store with the hubby and you're going to purchase, it's called non-sanded tile grout. That's the key to give it that chalky type texture. So it's non-sanded tile grout. Any type of paint, that's the best part about it. It could be cheapo acrylic paint. It could be house paint. If you've just done, you know, painted your house and you have a bunch left over, make your own chalkboard paint to match everything. Um, it could be any type of paint at all the non-sanded tile grout, and, the, and then you're just going to use plain old bottled water or tap water. Tap water is, of course, less expensive. So you're going to start out with um, your tile grout, and you're going to take two tablespoons um, if you want it really thick. I recommend starting with one tablespoon of the tile grout because you can always add, but you can't take away. So that's one tablespoon of the tile grout, eight ounces of your favorite paint, whatever you have on hand. Um, like I said, it doesn't matter what type of paint it is, and that's eight ounces. So it's one tablespoon of the tile grout to start out with. You have eight ounces. I use uh, acrylic paint. And then what I recommend is start out with um, maybe a quarter of the bottle. Mix, mix it really, really well, because that's the trick of uh, the uh, chalkboard paint is you want to, it has to be mixed really well, otherwise you're going to get a textured look, which isn't bad. That's, that's another tip of the day. But um, if you want it really smooth, you want to take about a quarter of it, mix it in with the uh, tile grout, and then uh, slowly add more paint until you have the whole eight ounce bottle. Um, mix it up really good. I, you know me in mason jars, gotta love them. Um, I like to store it in the mason jars. And then um, you have your handmade, very, very inexpensive uh, chalkboard paint. Now I do want to share one thing because this did happen to me. If you go to use it and, um, and you feel like it's a little bit thick and um, it's too thick, all you have to do is just add water. So it's thick, thickens up, you add a little bit of water, and you go from there. Um, give it a good shake when you're ready to use it. Again, if you need to add more water, you add water to the uh, desired consistency. And just to give you a little sample of how it works, I had a few of these little chipboard tags and uh, just love to test things out on the chipboard tags. So these were done in three different, three different colors that I had at home. Now, a little tip before we get, before I show you how it works is, you know when you go to write something on, you've just made your project with the chalkboard paint and you want to go to write it, and you have your handy dandy chalk? It has this really big fat tip. Not so easy to write with, is it? So do yourself a favor. Grab whatever pencil sharpener you have on hand. You can sharpen your chalk so it makes it really, really easy to write on your project. There you go. I hope you give it a try. Have a great day.